Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we will be looking at how to backup and restore files and folders in Ubuntu 20.04. So let's start with the video. So just go to the application section and just search for backups. And once you have opened backups here, so we will be using backups to uh, restore, uh, sorry, to take backup and restore a particular folder. So let's start. Now first before we uh, start to take actual backup we need to configure uh, this. So first just go to uh, scheduling. Now here if you want to take backup on a daily basis then you can uh, enable this automatic backup. You can uh, select here uh, day or, uh, or uh, on a weekly basis and uh, here you can uh, select the option for six months or a year or uh, for forever and uh, i will disable this because i don't want to take any automatic backup so uh, i will simply delete this oh, sorry i will simply disable this and w once you are uh, done with uh, scheduling you can go for a storage lock uh, storage location so uh, first we will go to uh, folders to ignore so I have kept by default a thrash and downloads as uh, the folders which I don't want to take backup of. Uh, here you can select the folders which you want to take backup. Uh, it can be an important folder that uh, you want to take backup and if by mistakenly you have deleted that folder then uh, you might want to restore that. And uh, this is overview. The, here you can back up and uh, restore back it again into its original location or uh, your preferable location. Uh, so just go to storage location. Here the, uh, there will be uh, options available. So first I will select local folder here. So what this means is uh, this will simply uh, back up. Uh, your particular folder or the folder which you have selected uh, into uh, your system and uh, if you will click on restore then again it will restore back into its original location or into your preferable location but the problem with this method is uh, in for example if your ubuntu gets corrupted then you will not be able to restore your uh, data back again because uh, whatever the data you have backed up it will it was saved in your system so that's why uh, there is no chance that you can restore uh, that important folder uh, after uh, installing ubuntu again uh, it's still a useful method because uh, uh, let's say if your ubuntu is not corrupted then uh, if you have used this method then you still be able to recover back your uh, folder again so we will uh, use this method first and uh, we will just go to overview and uh, here we will just select backup now now uh, uh, if you have opened this uh, application for the first time then it will ask you to download certain uh, application uh, just allow this app to download certain package and once uh, it's downloaded then again you will be redirected to this uh, option now here it's up to you whether you want to set up password or not i will set up password here So once you have done with uh, setting up the password, just go to forward. And uh, once you have uh, selected this, it will uh, take some time to uh, back up this folder. So as you can see, the backup is completed. Now once backup is completed, so what I will do is I will just open this in terminal. I will simply delete this folder. So, uh, okay, we'll simply delete this. Okay, here I need to use hyphen RF to delete this folder. Yeah, so I will just press enter. So as you can see that folder is deleted. So now what I will do is I, I have taken backup of uh, that file. I will just click on restore and uh, here uh, just go to uh, that where you want to restore that uh, folder so I have uh, selected as local folder 
because I as I, uh, at the time of backup I have used this method so that's why I have selected a local folder here so uh, now uh, this is the location where you want to uh, save uh, your restore file so it is by default the original file sorry the original location uh, where your backup will be restored and here you need to select uh, the type of method which I've used during backup process. So just click on forward here, it will be restored back into its original location. And uh, you need to enter password. Uh, so uh, just click on forward and uh, restore from original location. Just click on forward and just click on restore. And you need to enter password here because at the time of uh, at the time of uh, the procedure you have set the password so just click on forward now now it will take some time to uh, restore this folder so as you can see the the file is successfully restored so this is uh, one way to do it now uh, you can all uh, you can select here pen drive also so you can also select here pen drive uh, now uh, just click on folders to save I will I will just click on plus icon here to add so I will click on important and I will simply remove this PT okay so uh, this is the, an important folder and uh, I, I, I want to take backup of this so I have uh, selected pen drive here uh, so here I will just click on overview and I will just click on backup now so again it will ask me for password but I will not set any password so it will take some time to uh, backup so backup is completed now let's again try to remove this fold so open in terminal uh, rm hyphen rf and the name of the folder is important so I will just delete this now I will again uh, restore back it again so just click on forward just click on restore okay so as you can see here uh, this folder has been recovered successfully so this is how you can easily uh, take backup uh, and uh, so let me just go open backup here so this is how you can easily backup and restore in Ubuntu 20.04 but uh, here I have selected pen drive here as an external uh, you can say external hard disk uh, but uh, in, instead of pen drive you can also use external hard drive which uh, which of course is of larger size which can be of 100 uh, GBs or even 1 TB of size so uh, I prefer to use pen drive or uh, external hard drive because uh, it allows you to save uh, larger uh, data take backup of larger data uh, the problem with using local fold, uh, local folder is that once your system is corrupted then you will not be able to take uh, backup you will not be able to restore your system that's the problem with local folder because once your ubuntu is corrupted and the problem with uh, google drive is that uh, in case uh, if you use google drive or cloud then you will have certain limit you have to uh, pay them uh, to uh, store large amount of data so if you uh, want to take backup uh, of your system on a daily basis then you can try that you can take their service but uh, if you do not want to take backup uh, on a daily basis or on a weekly basis you take backup uh, on a uh, let's say if your laptop contains an important files and folders and uh, you only want to take backup only once uh, so you can easily go for external hard drive or pen drive uh, because uh, then you will not have to pay on a monthly basis or on a yearly basis for that so the best option that you are you will be having is pen drive 
of course uh, i must say so this is how you can easily uh, back up and restore in ubuntu 20.04 so yeah uh, that's it for this video please like share and subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video so till then goodbye